The topic of spectra is incredibly deep, and I can't hope to do it justice to the level of understanding that I currently am at. Hopefully I can return to that at a later time, but for now I'd like to motivate the construction of spectra in a way with its um, historical motivation, a motivation which first led me down the rabbit hole of homotopy theory. It lies in a phenomenon in the homotopy groups of spheres. This is the Freudenthal suspension theorem, a consequence of which we observe here. The diagonals stabilize. Now this is quite incredible on its own, but we don't actually understand the pattern yet. And the more we look into it, we uncover deeper and more profound results. So the question is, how do we study this stable phenomenon? And the first step was a good insight for me into how a mathematician thinks. We'd like to a place or a setting to work in. Specifically, we'd like a category which essentializes this stable phenomenon. At a basic level, this would mean that in a stable category, the zeroth homotopy group of this quote-unquote sphere object would be that first blue non-trivial diagonal consisting of Z. The first homotopy group would be the next green diagonal Z2, and so forth. But this immediately would make you point out that we want our homotopy groups to correspond to diagonals, so it doesn't make sense to talk about a stable homotopy group of a single sphere, but rather of all spheres at once. Call this all spheres object S, and we'd like the second homotopy group of S to equal the sixth homotopy group of S4, the seventh homotopy group of S5, etc. And so we immediately realize that our objects in this category are probably not going to be topological spaces. They're going to be sequences of objects. In this sphere example, how do we connect consecutive spheres, for example, S3 to S4? Well, we use the suspension functor. In particular, we apply it iteratively to a point to get all spheres. What if we started with some other topological space X rather than a point? Does this stable phenomenon continue? Before I get ahead of myself, I want to point out that this is roughly what spectra are. They are objects of the stable homotopy category. Hence, to study the stable phenomenon, we work with spectra. Before we get into the NLAB, I want to point out that there are deep, that there are deep and far-reaching applications of spectra. For example, they are intimately related to all generalized cohomology theories, which is just incredible, by the Brown representability theorem. I'll leave some resources down below where you can begin to look for some application and generalized motivation for spectra, but let's get into the NLAB for now. We start out by recalling that for the category of compactly generated pointed topological spaces, there's a smash tensor Hom adjunction via the reduced suspension and looping operations. Taking this one step further, we found that if we impose the classical model structure on the category of compactly generated pointed topological spaces, we got that our suspension looping adjunction was upgraded to a Quillen adjunction. Technically speaking, the suspension looping operations are derived functors of the aforementioned adjoint pair with respect to the homotopy category of the previous category. If you recall, the homotopy groups of spheres stabilized after, roughly speaking, applying the suspension functor iteratively, which equated to moving to higher dimensional spheres in that case. So roughly speaking, we'd like to think about passing from the category of topological spaces to the stable homotopy category by applying an infinite suspension functor. Ho spectra is the stable homotopy category here. Again, we'd like to upgrade this so that we have a complete homotopy theory for spectra, i.e. we'd like to upgrade the previous diagram to preserve model category structures between all categories presented. You might have noticed the sleight of hand here that we didn't go from host spectra to the category spectra, but instead to the category sequential spectra. This is in light of the fact that there are several different kinds of spectra, and hence categories of spectra. Examples listed here include sequential spectra, symmetric spectra, orthogonal spectra, and excisive functors, and each has their own model structure. The reason we said host spectra and not ho sequential spectra is because, remarkably, almost all of the different spectra categories induce equivalent stable homotopy categories. The reason so many spectra exist is not purely a historical artifact, though. As you go down the list, you get a richer structure, but on the other hand, it is harder to construct and work with those um, spectra. 
But that's all I wanted to say as far as introductions go. Next time, we'll begin with the actual rigor. Thank you.